click to express and in this video we will be discussing on resident load so what is resident load resident load is loading a preloaded table in the in click sense so what do you mean by preloaded table so let's move to one of my application say it like this test application only I'm moving it uh, and then let's move to the script editor suppose I have a inline table created also I'll just load one more table so as to you know get a clear view of it so I I'll go back to my this PC and then when go to my file server path click sense and let me go here and take this path maybe like click sense I'll take this path and create a folder folder path okay so I'll go here create a path and just name it as source okay that's all so now I have a source path I'll go here go to any of the table say it like employee source go to country or maybe like employee table I'll take this employee table here and insert the script okay so this is my preloaded table okay fine uh, I'll just give the name as employee table so these are my preloaded table suppose I want to load this table again in click sense suppose maybe in this tab or maybe in the same tab N uh, doesn't matter okay so I uh, how to do that so suppose I'll write the table name as T A B L E table one okay and now I want to load this load suppose a specific column then I can take like suppose I want to load only these two columns or these three columns fine so I'll just write those column names here or if you want to load all the columns you can particularly write, or write all the column names or you can also write star which means all the columns name load star keyword resident and the table name which you want to resident it as so for me it is EMP okay so I'll just go here write EMP okay so that's all it's gonna resident load this table so now one more thing I just <coughs> <coughs> sorry so I'll just write uh, qualify over here or let it be qualify over here just to show you that these are the data coming from different tables okay so now if I load this data so you'll see the table got loaded over here and you'll see there are three tables okay I had a binary load over here so I'll just remove that binary load for now so anyways that also would have not been an issue so anyways just to make you very clear on binary sorry in resident load I just removed it okay so now if I go and see the ta table viewer or data model viewer you can see this is a table this is a table one which is nothing but the employee table being resident over here okay so what is the use I already have this table and if I want to use the same table in a different place why we uh, why we are not hitting the database and taking the table again why we are resident loading it for uh, so just that explanation is very important when you are doing a resident load so suppose you have loaded a table say it, uh, say it like employee and you made many changes over there like uh, changing the uh, names to capital names and then you made few more columns if there are some date you wanted to change something and then you specific specifically he make the date to some uh, some format which you want so many changes you have done in this table okay so now if you create one more table you need the same kind of changes suppose in that type of situation instead of loading the or, or hitting the database loading the columns and then you know making these changes again um, gonna create pressure in clicks and instead of that a changes you would have already made in click sense that table if you load it again that would have been much less pressurizing uh, uh, instead of hitting the database taking the table and making those changes again but secondly if you have a table here like in this scenario where you're not making any changes in the table and you're directly loading the same particular table here it's gonna create a pressure okay so resident load are generally not used or not recommended in a 
uh, in a click, uh, click data model so the lesser the resident load you have uh, you will have um, a gr a good the, the the better the data model is okay so um, generally uh, resident load are uh, used when you have a very unoptimized data and the table has to be you know uh, uh, you know used again and again with all the all such a fuzzy calculation which is being done or you uh, there are many scenarios like uh, a table uh, uh, you have a sort of data you want to make some changes and use the same, same table again and again so such type of scenarios you will come across when you do a data model and that type of scenarios you use a resident load okay so similarly i have a, i have an inline table that also i can uh, you know make a uh, resident load i'm just gonna give give the name as table 2 and simply i'll write load star resident resident and then my table name is table okay so i'm just gonna give that table name so any table you can do a resident load and that uh, but that table has to be pre-created here also you can write a where condition or uh, whatever condition you want suppose i want to write a where condition here you can very well write it okay so suppose i want to write a where condition where country is not equals to uk C O U N T R Y country not is equals to uk so you can very well write it over here okay and then you can load the data over here so it doesn't gonna affect the data country not found maybe i have written in the wrong way maybe let me check okay country where i have to mention the table name because i have used a qualify over here so the table name is con now the column name is table name dot country name correct so that's because we have used a qualify over there so now it's gonna load fine so that the reason because it is table name dot column name because we have used a qualify over here now if you go over here check the um, check data model view you're gonna see over here that the table the second table table 2 which is actually loading the table uh, table data so it is giving you table 2 dot table dot name is actually loading the data of table is giving you only data for Ravi because UK we have already you know filtered it out okay so that is how we do the resident load thank you have a nice day